give you a deeper understanding of ADP Ventures and how we operate and how we work alongside our partner companies to really help them grow and scale. So before we get started, you know, I want to introduce you guys to our panel. We have a very esteemed panel here that's going to share their insights and really talk to you, give you some true insights into what it's really like to partner with ADP at ADP Ventures. So Anthony, I'm going to start with you and then you guys work your way this way to do your introductions. Uh, thanks for coming this evening. We're really excited about um, you know addressing kind of some of the areas that we get to partner very closely with uh, with ventures. Just a little background about, about myself. I've been with the organization now for the 30 years, um, and the reason I, I point that out is because as you think about the, the ADP marketplace, we'll go into a little bit more detail in terms of the symbiotic relationship that uh, we have with the organization, it really expands across all functions and lines of the business. And those relationships in the end really matter if you kind of think about the success of uh, the partnerships. I know we're going to go into kind of some detail, uh, but again, really excited to be here and I'll, I'll turn it over to you. Hi, thank you, Anthony. And uh, thank you everybody for coming. My name is Audrey Masoni and I am VP of Sales here in the Bay Area for ADP. And I had the privilege of being able to see firsthand what the symbiotic relationship is between our sales organizations and our ADP Ventures uh, portfolio companies and how we really can help with that go-to-market strategy. I know that was a lot of what we talked about in the first panel and we're gonna go into a lot more detail about that uh, here in just a minute. So I'm excited to uh, run with that with you. Awesome, thank you. Hi everyone, Sarah Shirazi. I'm the Chief Partner Officer at NIA. Um, I know Victoria just gave a nice brief overview of uh, NIA, but before we talk to this, I might give like a 30 second overview just so you all have context. Um, NIA in a couple of uh, languages in the Middle East and South Asia actually means some new. And so what NIA set out to do back in 2019 when we were founded was create a new approach to benefits. Because I'm sure as we are all consumers of our benefits, our employers, benefits can be really good music sometimes. And so what we've done is we've created a product suite uh, that helps people from choosing to then using their benefits 52 weeks out of the year. And uh, we're a partnership from A to C, uh, you know, our, our, we'll get into it, but uh, we believe finds a the great fortune of collecting those products within the the ecosystem of happiness. Awesome. Thank you, Nats, for that introduction. So I'm gonna start with Anthony and I'm going to ask him to tell us a little bit about you know the ADP marketplace and you know how does one get involved with that? Sure, how do you So I'll, I'll take you back 30 years when I started ADP, it was essentially a, a closed ecosystem. I'm really proud to share with you that yesterday, in fact, we celebrated our 10 year anniversary. And when you think about the ADP marketplace, it effectively is an HR open ecosystem, essentially effectively with your applications, right? Really extending the platform across the organization, especially when it comes to employee information, thinking across not only EDP's applications, but also third-party applications, okay? In addition to that, when you think about the, the relationship, right, and where we really focus with you in terms of the, the partnerships, we want to ensure success. So how do we do that, right? We want to make sure that we clearly understand your value proposition across the organization. In order to do that, we align very closely with you in terms of where we can work and we partner. Beyond that, in terms of compelling the EDP partner, okay, there are some things that we found work really, really well in terms of experiencing success when you come into this ecosystem. Just the level set, okay, we have nearly 300 partners in the marketplace of over 800 applications. For those of you that may not be familiar with the, the functions within the organization, but especially sales, okay, we have 10,000 sellers within our organization. We have a number of different SORs. The way you look at the market is based on employee size. So as you think about your solutions, as you think about forming a partnership, we want to ensure that we truly understand your value proposition and how we're going to integrate with those dis different systems of records. One other thing that I want to make very clear and really think will ensure that we have success 
is to make sure that you understand there's a commitment on both sides as far as this relationship is concerned. Um, in my experience, it would be a mistake to think that you can come into the ADP marketplace and essentially just set it and forget it. Right? There's more to it in terms of uh, this partnership, so we want to align across the different functions, and I'll speak to that here in a moment as well. But we certainly are committed to this relationship. Thank you, Anthony. That's great. Talk to us a little bit about the benefits of being on the marketplace, some success stories and that you can share with us so that these guys have a clear understanding of what that looks like. Yeah, there are, there are a number of different benefits. The, the earlier panel was, was you know, discussing distribution. Um, and I mentioned a moment ago, right, we've got a number of sellers across all spaces, SMB, all the way through enterprise. Our marketplace um, is also international, so if you kind of think about right, expanding your depth and breadth, that's certainly an area uh, where we can focus in on this, this relationship. Um, you know, beyond that, there are a number of other things that we can we can do um, to assist you. And you know, we touched on success stories. Um, so I'm, I'm happy to uh, to share with you. We have a number of different partners. Think about it this way: we have nearly 20 different okay segments within our marketplace, and a number of partners come in or need be successful, um, and they have a sweet spot in terms of you know their their go to market. And what we found is that in working closely with them across the different functions, we can support them as they continue to build across the, the enterprise. Um, and one area that I'll bring you to is just, you know, we have committed resources in terms of our marketplace. We have strategy, we have business development, we have tech resources, we have marketing, right? We have partner strategy. And these are all areas that really align closely with you uh, to make sure that we're seeing that success um, as quickly as we possibly can. All right, so moving on to you, Sarah. We'd love to hear how your your adventure started here with uh, ADP. Like, talk to us a little bit about your journey and where you are right now. Um, so our journey, my journey with ADP began in 2021. That's when uh, we officially became part of the ADP marketplace. And so the product that was on the platform on, on Marketplace with our shoes products. I won't bring the details, but at a high level, it's a surveilling experience that takes in an employee's information, and at the end of it, we say, take this health plan, take this HDHP contribution, don't take this plan, don't take this plan, and treat this much to your portal, okay? Yeah. So it's a, it's a surveilling experience that helps people choose their benefits of all diet shoes. So we, in 2021, uh, I who became part of the marketplace, and uh, what was really uh, incredible about that was we got about 20 customers through that marketplace integration. We were able to prove out the value of the user experience, the value of the employer, and ultimately the value of the ADT. And one year later, fast forward in 2022, uh, we actually created an embed we embedded that shoes product within the ADT's technology platforms that are available across the SME, the market, and enterprise segments. And so through that marketplace, we really got the exposure, we had the clients, they had really strong positive feedback. So then result in a more embedded uh, solution being directly integrated within the technology platform, so within our embedded administration platform. Um, and so as I mentioned, over the last, from 2022 to 2024, uh, our products have spanned across the KEO, and before I mentioned that it's the you know, largest KEO in the United America, um, the sort of the different markets I have across the business across the AP. Um, and then culminated very recently in August of 2024, uh, we were very grateful and excited about the venture investment in Sanaya. So it's been a, a wonderful ride and it's been it's been wonderful to prove out value not only to the employees because of the tightest employee experience, our product is no longer fragmented, no longer unbundled as a point solution, but to, I think it was Allison's point of the previous panel, a really cohesive user experience that's been bundled into the, the app. And so um, and that's, that's a sort of a high level of our, our evolution of the Awesome, thank you, and thanks to Grace So i So honestly, so it's obvious that uh, Kill Naya has, has uh, gone beyond our place. Talk to us a little bit about how you continue to have the sales conversations with co-counts once they go beyond our place. Tell us a little bit about what that looks like and what success you see. 
Yeah, thank you. I think we've seen a lot of different things work and bring value, but I'll, I'll give you a couple that stand out to me. The first is joint campaigns um, and really running campaigns together with the solutions that are either on the marketplace or that are, um, you know, portfolio companies of the ventures. Uh, we also do a lot of collaborative networking events where we look to, you know, gain clients on both sides. Um, and then the, the final one that I'll share is education with our sales force. And I think that this one is really the key point because it's a constant education to our sellers that basically extends the reach exponentially that each one of those portfolio companies or marketplace partners can have. Um, they then get to tap into the 10,000 sellers that Anthony mentioned at the onset, um, where you, know, you can then have a much larger reach for your go-to-market strategy. And so I think that's really the additional benefit and really what makes this type of partnership extremely unique. Yeah, can I, can I double tap on that? Just, yeah. to, just to provide some, some context, right? We work very closely with, with Audrey and the entire sales organization with respect to ensuring that um, our sales organization, our leadership team really understand the value proposition in terms of your solution. So that's a key differentiator as you look at other marketplaces, um, especially when it comes to integrations, because we all know there's only so much self life, right? A sales organization, a product team, et cetera, as we ensure that our sales team truly understand the value in terms of your, your solutions. So, Sarah, we're going to come back to you. Can you talk a little bit about how the value of this investment uh, is, is helping Nalia to grow and can you talk a little bit about what that looks like? Yeah, absolutely. So, um, similar to how a marketplace was a catalyst for my issues becoming embedded within like WFM platforms and the other embedded platforms that, that are part of the ecosystem, APN is also concerning the catalyst. So, as I mentioned, NIA has a portfolio of products that span across the continuum of employees choosing and using their benefits, so both products. Um, and the products exist in the market today. You know, of course, one of your companies leverage those products. And so, with a, those for AP Ventures and the connectivity and influence of AP Ventures as a growth organization, um, we have been better able, better equipped to actually go to the relevant business units and actually demonstrate the value of the NIA products and how they really drive AP's strategy of transforming the future of work. And so that's been supremely beneficial. So not just from of course of you know high income high distribution and commercial nature of products and grabbing value to ADP and Naya, but also just serving as a connectivity layer across the ADP business. Because I think a lot of these strategic investors, you know, large organizations like ADT can be challenging to navigate at times. So really serving not only as someone that can help know, understand the market, the product set, and I as an outdoor value great key, but also serves as a connectivity layer across the organization. So this question is from Anthony and Audrey, but I'm gonna ask. So is ADP truly is it just a distribution channel or is it really a catalyst for growth? Like how would you respond to co-founders out there who's really curious about that question? Can the answer be both? I can't think okay. <laughs> right, so I, I like to think it, it, it's bumble, right? Um, you know, with our rich history with, across the, the last 75 years, you know, we've really proven that we can help organizations go through uh, these partnerships. I know we discussed the distribution channel within ADP, but one of the areas I'm not sure we touched on um, is beyond that in terms of partnerships. You know, we have extended relationships with PE, we have extended relationships with uh, banks, uh, CPAs, I, I can go on. So that really, right, extends your reach from a partner perspective in terms of this distribution model. So I'd like to think as you come into the organization, right, we're providing you that advantage in terms of your relationship um, in both ways. Awesome. I think so you stole my thunder. <laughs> but, um, but just to elaborate on that, um, you know, in within our sales organization, we, we do reach out to clients and prospects on a constant, consistent basis. But I think really where the magic happens within ADP is our partner ecosystem. Uh, Anthony mentioned it, you know, private equity, venture capitalists. 
Uh, we also lean heavily on brokerage channels, CPA channel, financial institutions. Um, and so those are really the areas in which, you know, it's not just a, a full calling mechanism. It's, it's truly advancing those relationships and getting you in front of organizations that you wouldn't really have the ability to get in front of by just making a cold call. It's, it's that extra relationship piece and the trust that our partners give to us because of the history and because of you know the wonderful solutions that EDP has as well. Thank you, Audrey. So, Sarah, so Nadia has a really um, strong growth story with EDP and EDP Ventures. So tell the audience a little bit about like, how you define success for a partnership? Like, what does that look like? Yeah, absolutely. So, ultimately what it comes down to is, is driving value. So, value across multiple stakeholders, right? I think at the foundation, it's driving value to the user, the employee that's actually using the B2B platform. So, what NIA does is we're situated in a way where we're actually within the technology, with the AAP admin, and driving heightened, better user experience when it comes to using their benefits. You guys, if you have ever filed an accident policy or an accident claim, you know how challenging that could be, right? And so what NIA is trying to do at a foundational level is how do we transform the benefits administration platform to be less of a system of record, more of a system of action that's delivering really awesome user experiences so that employees aren't sit, sitting there wondering, how am I going to afford this accident, you know, this, this medical bill, et cetera. And you know, as you ask, they have the continuum of stakeholders for value delivery that ultimately gives value back to the employer, happy employees, happy employer, and of course, value back to, to ADP from a corporate standpoint. And so, as I look at what we're trying to achieve, right, it's sort of how do we, how is NIA delivering value to each of those stakeholders at the end of the day? And truly going back towards why we're here and sort of the theme of this event, which is transforming those to the future of work when it comes to people with benefits specifically. Are we choosing any side methods? Great. So one final question, and then we'll turn it over to happy hour so you guys can get the conversations going. But in today's competitive environment, like can you guys just talk to the audience a little bit about you know why AP Venture would be a key partner for anybody in this room to try and grow this? Can you talk a little bit about that? We'll start with you, Sarah. Oh, sorry. Yeah, I touched on this earlier. As you think about the, the relationship that the marketplace has with you know ventures, it truly is an extension of essentially, you know, what is the, the relationship or the position to, to really accelerate um, from a, a like a growth perspective, right? We have a number of different differentiators that we touched on a moment ago, so really won't go into the detail there. Um, but this relationship, in my in my opinion, really ensures success, right, as far as the, the partnership is concerned. But, yeah, and I think one thing I'll add um, is just, you know, the value of what Sarah has touched on a little bit. You know, she's one of the success stories that AEP has when it comes to truly embedding, but we've got several of those. And what we look for are um, founders that truly complement the technology that we offer. So when we're thinking of, you know, Naya, obviously, benefits and decision support, we're, we're thinking of zip recruiter complements our recruiting modules and we've got a partnership with them. We've got Go One that complements some of our, our learning technology. And so, you know, all of those truly have been the catalyst for growth within those organizations. And it's because it complements the value that then we bring. And so it makes it a lot easier for our sellers to incorporate that into their own value proposition. And, and truly, again, that's where you'll see that catalyst for growth. I mean, I think what I've been speaking, I think, over the last sort of three questions that I've answered about how this is really, the IEP has facilitated really strong growth for Ohio. I mean, embedding products across business units, serving millions of lives on ADP is, is it's, it's quite incredible over, over a three-year time horizon. So thank you guys for a great discussion and for bearing with us with all the audio. But let's get to, like, kind of get you to things kind of around the dog.